What's good everybody, it's your boy Hamza from Uther Gaming and today guys I'm coming to you with a brand new deck profile but before we get into it make sure you go ahead and like this video. Let's try and hit 100 likes. It's been happening in our past couple videos so make sure we do it on this. Let's keep up the streak going because we are too too powerful but again make sure you check out all the links down below. Comment if you haven't already and subscribe because again like I said 70% of you guys are not subscribed. That number is slowly whittling down but let's try and speed that process up because again we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and then finally check out our patreon down below where you can take advantage of some awesome opportunities that we provide you guys like coaching theory or anything like that anyways guys let's get straight into this video all right guys so starting off the deck file again it is an invoke dragoon deck profile so what would be what would what would be what would an invoke deck be without triple alistair the invoker so yeah i mean we're playing triple alistair the invoker he's like the heart and soul of the deck the best normal summon and again i don't really like playing too many normal summons in a 40 card deck i feel like five or six might be pushing it so i just decided to play triple alistair the invoker and that's it for our normal summon now moving on we play triple magician souls in this deck and i feel like magician souls is like one of the best extenders in the deck because being a free spell summon is very very nice but again, um, not only being a special summon is nice, but you can also draw cards, so it is pretty cute with that as well. And then again, I played the One Apprentice Illusion Magician. I decided to play this card personally over Palladium Oracle Mana. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, Palladium Oracle Mana, in theory, is a lot better because you can go Normal Alistair, Effect, Get Indication, Special Souls, Dump Mana, and then Souls, like, pitch two cards and then draw two cards. But, I mean, and then you go, you know, Ma Dragoon and Makaba. But the reason why I decided to play Apprentice Illusion is because mana in your hand is nothing but, I mean, discard fodder for a Dragoon and discard fodder for Indication. So apart from that, I feel like, or personally speaking, I feel like mana is not that good, actually. Because again, like I said before, I don't want to play cards that are like, okay, worst case scenario, discard fodder. I want cards to be able to do as much as possible as they like do in their hand. So Illusion is another special summon. So worst case scenario, if we don't have access to Alistair, we can go like special, 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 normal. You know what I mean? So mana in your hand, just a dead card. So that's why I decided to play our one press Illusion Magician. Now moving on, we are playing triple Trickstar Corbane in this deck. I don't play Candina. You guys can play Candina. Don't get me wrong. You, uh, like Candina is a very good card. I'm playing like one Candina, one light stage, triple Corbane is very nice because again candina is a one card combo for dragoon but actually if you guys want to see a trick star um deck profile like a trick star dragoon deck profile like let me know down below and like i'll for sure get on it because i do like making trick star videos and i know that people love watching it so i will for sure do that but yeah so that is triple trick star corobane um i feel like it's the best extender because it's a light so it's like a light like a light like a light like a light but anyways it's a free light extender with the invoker so invoker um uh trickstar corbane uh it threw me off trickstar corbane and then we played triple ash blossom and joy spring just to negate stuff you know ash is like the most versatile hand trap in this current format so triple ash blossom then we are rocking triple nibiru the primal being and i mean nibiru is really good it's a light monster as well um disrupts a lot of combo decks and you are playing uh control deck but this is a control deck that kind of punishes when the board state is simplified so nibiru is really good at simplifying the board state and then you can push out dragoon and just kind of destroy your opponent but yeah we are playing triple um nibiru then moving on we play the uh vanilla package which is the one dark magician and the one red eyes b dragon or red eyes black dragon but yeah um you can play two of these guys and i'll explain it later on um in the side deck why you guys can play those cards at the certain ratios that they're at but moving on from the monsters we are playing triple magical meltdown because again we want to play seven count them seven alistair the invokers and we want to be able to get to our indications so we're playing a lot of indications that technically speaking because alistair is an indication so we play almost seven nine indications you can play the third indication if you actually want but i wouldn't recommend it unless you play desires because i just feel like it's not that good but i mean we play double indication moving on play the one magical eyes fusion and the double red eyes fusion so instead of playing triple red eyes fusion magical eyes i feel like double red eyes fusion and magical eyes is better because for the most part you're actually going to be going turn one red eyes fusion dump these two cards and then turn two make another one a magical eyes fusion these two cards and summon a dragoon if you play like you don't need it because you don't really play triple dragoon so i feel like this is good in itself and i mean actually drawing a uh, red eyes fusion isn't that bad because you just go ahead and make a dragoon so it doesn't matter but moving on from the spell cards you play the one terraforming because you want to play again seven um invokers and two our tricks are light stage and again if you guys want to play candina you guys can play candina and you'll have like a one two three four five six almost uh you have multiple ways of getting into your uh, Dragoon, but I just felt like it's not the optimal because we play three, six, seven free special summons in the deck, eight with the instant fusion that you guys just saw right here. So I feel like it's pretty good. And then again, Cyber Tage, we play eight and then six and then seven. Like we play so many special summons in this deck, I feel like why not? 
and then we play the one set rotation, one upside for 40, then trap cards you play triple infinite impermanence, we play triple solemn strike, and we play triple there can only be one. Because again, your turn one board is going to be a plant, a machine, and a spellcaster, and for the most part, if you get disrupted, you just flip there can only be one, stop your opponent from playing, and again, you want to be able to play trap cards to deal with cards like evenly matched, so that's why I decided to put these in the deck. You can substitute any of these cards for solemn judgment, any of these cards like blue boys, anything you guys want. Again, like I said for my deck files are not the best, or not the best for you guys, the best for me, personally speaking. But I mean, yeah, so that's it for the main deck 40 cards moving on to the side deck You can play the one uh, Drago Stapelio Venom or Super Poly and again The reason why these cards are pretty good is you can Super Poly their board and you can actually make a Venom because they end with Anaconda Dragoon and there's a two darks and then they end the Anaconda Dragoon so you can turn Drago Stapelia and then Drago Stapelia becomes like a negate So I feel like this is pretty good. I have seen lists playing two magician and two red eyes uh, black dragon I mean like OCG list and uh, ah yeah, it's OCG list uh, for the most part. I haven't really seen any TCG list on YouTube playing uh, two of these guys. And then we played the one Red Eyes Fusion. Um, so you can play these guys and then play the third Fusion. And then you don't even need to play Magic Eyes Fusion if you don't feel like it. But I just feel like playing Magic Eyes Fusion plus double this um, lets you cut down on two of these cards to make space. So that's why I decided to fit um, those cards in. And then again, you can play the one Pod Desires. Moving on to the extra deck, we played the one um, Salmon Gate Al Mirage. If you guys don't know why we play this card, I will go ahead and explain it right here. So you go normal, Alistair, grab Invocation, turn Alistair into Al Mirage. Al Mirage will go into Gardena. Invocation effect, you'll banish the Alistair and the Gardena and make a Macabre. So it is pretty good. We play double Anaconda because turn one, we want an Anaconda Fusion to make Dragoon. And then turn two, we want a Magic Eyes Fusion to make the second Dragoon. Pretty cool. Uh, moving on we played generic so we played the one unicorn and the one phoenix these cards can be changed with um cross sheep and meltdown evoker but they just don't really come up that much i guess meltdown evoker is okay but for the most part you want to make this uh guy going second so that's why i decided to play him like that but yeah we play those guys then you play double uh invoke macabre if you guys don't know what he does it's just a free negate so why wouldn't i not play this card you want agoides because again it's like a it's like a dragon because when, you're, when your opponent special summons a monster you can pop one card on the field if this card special summons, you can pop one card or not one card sorry one monster on the field and then um uh it's pretty good second fact is like you banish fusion monster and then this card gains its attack it's a very very good like go second card and i mean in a simplified game state it's actually not that bad one elysium to nuke the board to force a simplified game state before we go into dragoon uh one purgatrio to go for a game one purgatrio to go for a game um then we play the one is restrict and the one other restrict so one millennium one thousand eyes go first go second again i don't play panzer dragon but you can play panzer dragon in your deck but you can cut any of these cards like you can cut this or this go into panzer and then play like a platies because you play like panzer dragon plus corobane so it's like a little cute little play you can play but i wouldn't recommend it but yeah so we play these guys right here then you play our double red eyes dark dragoon because dragoon is like super important deck cannot be sure by battle i mean no sorry cannot be destroyed by card effects new player can target it with card effects during your main phase it says you can destroy one monster your opponent controls and if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to the monster's original attack you can use this effect number of times up to the number of normal monsters used as region material so you can always pop two cards technically speaking you want to turn one card effect is activated discard one card negate the activation if you destroy this card and if you do that this card gains 1000 attack again you have to like negate the activation if you do destroy it so uh ruling that a lot of people don't know is Say for example, I go uh, Phoenix Gear Freed effect in my hand. If they Dark Dragoon it, um, they won't be able to technically destroy it, so it won't gain 1,000 attack. Same with the hand trap. If you hand trap, you go Dragoon Negate, you won't uh, gain that 1,000 attack. So that's a super like important ruling you need to know. But I mean, this is it for the deck file. If you guys uh, have any changes and recommendations, make sure you guys comment down below. Now be sure to get on those. Again, stay tuned for some more Dragoon deck profiles. There will be a ban list video coming out like a prediction video coming up pretty soon as well but again if the list drops when that prediction drops i'm still uploading the prediction i don't care i'll just change the name to some clickbait thing and try and get you guys to be clickbaited but i mean hey what can you do but anyways guys this is hamza and like i always say keep on shining never give on your dreams peace